How's it going everyone? So today I want to talk about how to get out of the friend zone. So what has happened here is that you guys have become really, really close with that special someone. Uh, generally, I will be talking about guys because guys are watching this channel. So guys, you guys are uh, attached to a chick and uh, you become really, really good friends. But that's not a good thing because you guys are now friend zoned. So how can you tell? The first thing we need to find out is how can you tell if you're actually friend zoned? There's lots of signs that could be if you're friend zoned. Common one is if your girl is way, way hotter than you. Let's be realistic here. You can tell right away. Like, Just ask yourself right now, do you think you're a handsome guy? Do you always get compliments where girls always attracted to you? Where girls always coming up to you, hey, let's go, let's do this, let's do that. So you can tell right away, like in a hurry, if you're attractive or not. Now, is the girl that you're friends with, is she like smoking, like she's like, good, good looking. If she is chat and she's hanging out with you, like chances are you might be friend zone just because she may be way up here. You may be down here. I'm not being a dick. I'm just saying how it is. Generally, that's how you see people. You'll see a really hot girl and then a not so hot guy. I mean, that's just how it is. So that's one way of kind of telling another way to tell, um, if you're friend zone or not, do you always communicate with her? Like very often you're texting her lots, she's texting you lots, but then when you kind of like make those little jokes and you know what I mean, those little jokes about, hey, maybe we should like test the waters, maybe date a little bit. Like you're not ask, actually asking her out, you're just playfully saying, you know, like what would happen if like maybe we did? And you're just throwing in those little, those little bits of like, hey, like, like you're kind of fishing for an answer. And she always says, oh, we're, we're good friends. Like you and me, we're the best friends. If she keeps saying we're good friends, we're good friends, we're good friends, instantly you know you are friend zone. Hands down. So your friend zone, what can you do to get out of the friend zone? What can you do? The first thing that you guys need to do, the very first thing is chances are if you are friends with her, you guys text all the time, every single day, you're constantly talking. You need to stop texting her as, as frequently. You need to stop talking to her as frequently. What I mean by this is cut it in half. If you text her, let's say 100 texts throughout the day, which isn't even that much, um, cut it down to like 50, 25. Like, uh, just still kind of be there, but don't be there at the same time. If you know what I mean, uh, keep sending her a few texts, but don't go overboard and let her be the first one to kind of initiate the texts. Uh, second tip is don't be a dick when you're not being as frequent with the communication with her. You still want to be nice, but you don't want to be a dick. So many people fuck this up. What they do is like they'll take my advice, they won't communicate with her as often, but what they'll do is they, they'll be a complete fucking prick about this. They'll be like, ah, leave me alone, stuff like that. You don't wanna do that. You still wanna be friends with her. You, you still wanna talk, but you don't wanna do it as frequently. What this will do is this will instantly make her want you more because she's used to all that texting, that communication. Now she's not getting anymore. Now she's feeling a little nervous, a little bit scared. She's like, wow. Back of her mind, she doesn't think it, but back of her mind, she knows. She's like, wow, is, is this guy gonna leave me? Wow, holy shit, like maybe he's actually pretty good for me. Maybe I could see myself kind of dating him one day, something like that. So uh, that is a very, very important tip. So first tip, don't text her, don't call her as frequently, cut the communication in at least half. The second tip, when you're cutting the communication, do not be a complete dick to her. A lot of people do this. This is where you instantly screw up the relationship. You go from being friend zone to having no friends at all to having no relationship. So don't be a dick, still be kind of nice. Third tip, once you start doing this, then once you continue to communicate with her a little bit more, then what you want to do is flirt with her. Be a little tease, be a little tease about it, a little playful, but flirt with her just a little bit. Make those um, make those dating comments kind of like like hey what like what are you doing? Maybe do you want to go out and maybe go on a date? Stuff like that. Maybe talk if you're like jacked or you have a good body. Talk about yourself. Uh, maybe show her a picture of your arm, stuff like that, like get that going. Like if you have anything that is, uh, anything that you are good at, it doesn't have to be muscle building, it could be uh, doing sports, stuff like that. Really uh, show her that you're good at those things, send her texts, just kind of be aggressive, confident. See, that's why you guys are friend zone because 
you're kind of passive, you're not as confident. So what you need to do now, again, flirt, be playful, tease, then start being confident and uh, be confident in the things that you are good at. So if you are good at building muscle, talk about your muscle building, maybe show some pictures, stuff like that, you guys. Again, you want to tease her, you want to do, um, you want her to want you. So that was the third tip, you guys. The fourth tip, fourth tip is gonna be very important, guys. Very fucking important, super important. You need to finally ask her on that date. You can't just keep going around teasing her and stuff like that. After a while, I would say two, three days of actually doing this, maybe four or five days, four or five days, give it that, maybe a little bit longer, and uh, kind of feel how the situation is going. You need to ask her out on that date. You gotta do it. You cannot keep doing what you were doing. You need to see where the water is. You gotta ask her, no, you feeling me? Am I feeling you? You gotta ask her on that date. Guess what? If she says no, that's fine. Uh, I, again, you can't make someone like you. You can't make someone want to date you. So if she says no, perfectly fine. Get out of that relationship. You can still be friends with her if you want. But just understand that you were friend zoned and there's no possible chance of a relationship. So move on to another chick. Here's the thing. Once you move on to talking to other girls, this is a very important tip. Tip number five is that she may actually want you even more. Trust me, trust me when I say this. She will want you even more. So what you guys could do is you could just tell her that you're texting a few girls and a few girls want to, maybe they said you're looking pretty good, they want to date you and stuff like that and you're still testing out the waters. That right there, she will instantly want you even more. So if it has failed on the date, if the if you asked her on a date, it has failed, then move on to step number five. Say that uh, you've been texting a couple other chicks. Uh, they said they wanted to date you. Like, just talk out of your ass. You don't have to be true about this. There doesn't have to be another girl, but tell her that there is. This will make her super jealous, you guys. So in the video, uh, chances are that will work, and even if it doesn't, then now you know where you stand. You can go get yourself another girl. And just remember, confidence is key. You were friend zone because you weren't confident, you were passive, you were weak, and that's why she liked you, because you're one of the girls, stuff like that, whatever. End of video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, like the video, and share it. Peace.